Not since the horrors of the Black Plague has our land seen such despair. Almost two millennia after Sigmar founded the Empire, the realm is fractured and broken. Three rival factions claim the Imperial Crown, Marienburg, Middenheim, and Leipzig. Lure of power brings the armies of men against one another in a seemingly endless tide of battle. An island of peace in a sea of conflict, Mordheim drew wealth such as the city had never seen into its walls. But with its prosperity came the corruption of arrogance and hedonism and greed. The gods could not long abide the outrages of Mordheim's populace. In the heavens, an ill star appeared. A great. All right, let's get a quick, quick Mordheim mission in, and then uh, it'll be off to bed for me. Will All this right. day be your last? Caribou greatswords. 113 days. So we've done 113 missions with this warband so far. Success rate. I oh, know we've missed we missed two days. We've success we've attempted 111 missions, and we've um, had three crushing victories. Oh, three crushing victories! The crushing victory, I think, is when you kill every single member of the opposing team. I think that's what it is. I'm not sure what a tactical victory is, but yeah, the last the last battle we had yesterday, we killed every single dude because they just kept passing their morale tests. They just wouldn't break. All right, um, we got one, two, we got two coming back in so we can train up these two. We want toughness or strength? Oh, we'll go nine strength so it gets more loot capacity. And we've got two skill points, uh, so we want resilience for him. So it gives him crit resistance because crits because armor is our main defense. So crits are um, really bad for us. For anyone who's not familiar with this campaign, by the way, we're um, it's uh, we're basically playing where um, all of our mercenaries um, are uh, Caribou greatswords. So they're all uh, they all have heavy armor and greatswords. That's basically my house rule for the campaign. Um, I can, I have leveled up, um, hey beep boop, I have leveled up the um, reputation for uh, to be able to unlock a bunch of um, units from other warbands that are not mercenaries. Those guys, you know, are, they're not they're not part of the regiment, so they can use whatever they want. But um, but yeah, all my all my mercs have to be heavy armor and great swords, um, except for my ogre who can't obviously wear heavy armor or use great swords. Um, or but he uses two swords. He's just, he dual wields great swords. He does his best basically. Is what I'm saying. Um, I don't think he can wear heavy armor. I think he can only wear light cloth and light. Yeah, he's got light armor. And he's got two great swords, one in each hand. But I don't really use him much because he doesn't really fit in with the proper, proper great sword vibe. All right, and this guy. He's got resilience, he's got armor. He just, ne he needs hardy. Gives him 20 extra HP. And we'll just take his, borrow his great sword, and we'll just switch in. Switch in these guys. Um, some of our uh, some of our warband have some permanent injuries now by this stage, but uh, generally going all right. Never got into the vibe of those special units since they use two unit slots. Yeah, like it really, it kind of really annoys me as well. Yeah, like I, I do like using them sometimes, um, especially for the Sisters of Sigma. But, um, but yeah, it kind of feels bad having less dudes, doesn't it? Even though they're potentially twice as good or whatever. Hey, Parano, the bold's back. Is um, Paranoic? Are you still here? Yeah, give him speed, so it bypasses dodge chance of, um, of enemies. Hey, so yeah, Pirano the Bold's back in. He's uh, He doesn't worry about helmets. 
Most of our champions don't wear helmets either, I just realized. Um, Alright, so our captain got fucked up. Um, he got he got brutally violated. He's got a chest wound now, minus one maximum toughness. Um, our other captain um, has an internal wound and gives him minus one offense point, which is even worse. Um, but we've got this captain who's still healthy, but he's only level four. So, yeah. Yes, the captains are all fucked. Um, I might just fire them. I think I said that I was going to, like, not fire my dudes and I was going to just keep playing them no matter how injured they got or whatever. But I'm like, yeah, nah. Um, I'll keep I'll keep a few injuries for character and what have you. But these guys are just, they're busted. I mean, this one's not too bad. The toughness minus one's not too bad. But honestly, I don't really like his um, setup anyway. Now, we are supposed to get a level 7 captain, but I think maybe we don't get it until um, the shipment goes through. So it might be, it's only two days, I think. Oh, I just realized the reason why we didn't have mission available is because the, um, the captain was not operational. It wasn't because we had to flick a day. Um, crap. All right. Well, we're gonna be a dude. We're gonna be one man down. But that's okay. Two hundred twelve HP. Yeah, this guy's not very strong. Has he got? He's got. Yeah. Okay. He's gonna be a bit slow because he doesn't have. Um, he doesn't have his. Heavy armor skill maxed out. But that's all right. All right. We're ready to rock. Let's do this. Oh, uh, is this, um, this champion... Actually, yeah, better, actually, we'll just level up our level up a bit first. Uh, toughness or strength? Probably strength, I guess. Actually, I'm gonna I'm gonna train this guy up and keep him out as well. So. We'll be going with four. Yeah, we'll just be going with four warriors and three heroes. So we're only going to have seven in this squad. I expect to die every mission, but at least I won't fall for the scaven propaganda about helmets. Exactly. Helmets don't even work. So basically, um, my other like, house rule is I always go for the hardest mission that's available. Um... So we got a Brutal, we'll see if we can get a Deadly. Brutal, like I said, Brutal's the hardest, so we can choose between the two Brutals. Okay, got Brutal, good, good. And um, one will ban the caught exploring buildings, the other deploys tightly around the bagging. That one's not too bad, because getting caught exploring the buildings does suck, but the uh, but at least you know that the other warband's gonna be surrounded there, warband. So even if we get with, even if we're the one that's in the building, so it's sort of this is based on the tabletop game so it's like you have a scenario and then you kind of roll to see who's the defender and who's the attacker kind of thing so even if we're the one that's in the building um at least we know the other guys tightly around their wagons so they're going to be separate from us this one one warband's caught exploring the building or the other defly, this divides into three strike teams surrounding the buildings so that one's kind of suck because yeah that one's worse i reckon um so we're gonna go for this one um, if you're new to the game, or if you just don't want you guys to die, then do launch and deploy, so you get to place them where you want. Um, if you want a bit more excitement and danger in your life, then just choose launch mission. And then Leaving the, the... yourself alone in what was a residential district, you spread your warband to ransack the nearby houses. 
Just as your warriors are starting to explore the buildings, however, an enemy warband arrives, ready to attack your dispersed forces. A new round has started. This guy is my favorite. His, his name is Moritz van Krieger. He's a beast. He lays down the pain. I don't think he's quite finished yet, but he's like nearly there. Does a lot of damage. But he works best when he's got um works best when he's got a tank, a tank warrior priest and a um a order leader to support him. Um because he's mainly just all offense. Unfortunately we have neither the tank warrior priest nor the order leader with him this time. Um, we do have Sister of Superior though, so if she can get in there. <laughs> hey Moritz, yeah, this is your dude. He still lives. I'm not sure if the other champion was named or not. But um, he died. Yeah, the other champion died two missions ago. Just full dead. Full dead. Yeah, we need to start on it. Oh, actually, this guy, I need to start putting trinkets on him. So that if we know he's going to go down, we can trinket him up. There's a, there's, sorry, there's a, a special uh, magic item you can get. So called a trinket, I think. And um, and basically, if you know you're going to go down, you use it. And then it, it like heavily reduces the chances of you getting um, a serious injury or dead in the um, after the game. After the battle ends, when it rolls your injury. So it's really good. And you can get you can also get healing potions and other stuff like that. Um, so yeah, so now that these guys are some of these guys are getting kind of maxed out. Um, we need to like yeah, protect protect that experience that we've spent on them. Alright, so we're the ones that are inside the building. Um, but they're all over here, so it's fine. Um, all the warpstone is there. But I don't actually care that much about warpstone. I care more about like winning the battle and getting the secondary objectives if we can. So I basically just want everybody to be What the fuck? Where's the doorway? There's a doorway on the other side. What the absolute fuck? Where's the entry? Oh, it's here. Oh, crap. Okay. Um. Fuck. So this guy's just by himself over here. I might just... I might just leave her, I might just leave her there and we'll see, we'll see how it plays out, see how, where everybody else ends up. Because we want to come this way eventually to engage the enemy. So yeah, we can spend one point to delay, that'll skip us forward three turns, three places in the initiative order at the top. So I think we're upstairs. God, I'm completely fucking lost. <laughs> How do we get out of this joint? Um, I thought there was a staircase somewhere or something. Oh, there it is there. Okay, cool. I was like, where the hell am I? Okay, this is our new captain. He's young, he's inexperienced. He's a mighty warrior. Hopefully. Okay, yeah, so we made it to here, but we've got hardly any movement left. So yeah, this is what I was... There's no, like, hole in the wall or anything, no. Um... Yeah, so we're not going to be able to get... As far as she is, so we'll um, yeah we'll bring we'll come back and stack up on this captain. I think. I 
do want to get down towards where the Sister Superior is, but I'd rather be together and not dead. Yeah, getting getting towards the objective is good and everything, but but yes, being together and not dead is the primary primary concern. So this guy's just by himself. Um, what we can do. Maybe. Trying to tiptoe onto this. Ah! Almost, and I can't quite make it. Um, that's alright. So yeah, we're just going to stack up back here with the captain and then we'll just all roll all roll in together seen tabletop more time um mm, i'm not sure i definitely um I, I mean i've seen it a lot in white dwarfs and stuff um back in the day um yeah i always thought it was really cool um i think i i considered getting miniatures and stuff for it a few times but i never actually did it i don't think um i played blood bowl that was my my uh board game of choice. It was not balanced well. Ah, uh, really? That's a shame. John Blanche. Oh, yeah. started. Kemri with the mummies, yeah. It's so fun starting a new team in Blood Bowl, like especially when it's a race that you know, don't when you haven't played for a while or you don't normally play or whatever. I feel like yeah Tomb Kings and um yeah Kem sorry Kemri the team is called I think in Blood Bowl 2. Kemri is pretty cool. Um what was the Kemri they're really crap at handling the ball though right everybody like everybody in their team's got like two agility um, and they sort of yeah oh, that's right they had four mummies that had team that had strength five I think but they um they're not very durable though they had some sort of like thing where they died easier somehow but they were very bashy but I think like their mummies I think the mummies only had armor eight yeah whereas most big guys have armor nine They're there, the filthy rat men. So yeah, we'll try and pull one in with um, Sister Superior. She can tank a hit or two. And then we'll swarm and kill the first one. And then we'll go from there. I'd like to, if, I mean, if possible, I'd like to kill the, um, the poison wind globe here, but... Because, yeah, if he starts throwing poison everywhere, it's going to really suck. <laughs> Nicely placed ambush. There's him throwing poison right in the middle of my entire team. Fantastic. Ah, 
swing and a miss. Alrighty then. It's really hard to see where exactly where the poison hatches end. But um What's that guy? That's their leader. Yeah, so I'm gonna pull their leader. I think. Oh, we've got a charge on. Oh no, we got charge on him. Yeah, pull their leader. There he is. Oof. So yeah, every time she hits him with the Rune of Dismay, it gives him a penalty to his leadership test. Um, which is pretty cool because she's got a, another ability that makes them... can make enemies run away as well. Um, so combine those things, I guess you, she has lots of chances to make them run away. But yeah, so we've hit him twice, I think, with the Rune of Dismay, so his leadership should be a pretty... a bit screwed. Um... Oh, nice. Resisted the poison. I guess technically... We can charge this guy. I'll charge him. There we go. I'll charge him from there. Oh, so eighty-one chance, eighty-one percent chance to hit with the charge. But we'll um. Oh, I had an insult. Didn't he have insult? That's weird. Why why did I have insult before, but now I don't have insult? Oh, it's three. It's three pills. Okay. Yeah, okay, so we're in, we're in charge range there, so we'll insult him first. And that'll give us the plus 10% chance to hit, so we can charge on a 90%. Still missed. <laughs> That's pretty brutal. That's right. So he had he had one extra red pill, so he can attack twice, but he had one spare. That's why I did the charge. Um, these other guys, they only have five, so they don't have any spare um, spare red pills to do a charge, so we're going to walk them in. don't know if he's going to be able to have room to be able to jump back. I should have gone around the other side to leave leave a gap. The plan is for him to, because he got reduced, ooh, plan is because he's got reduced leadership, he's going to hopefully um, run away. Two, three, okay, this guy doesn't have enough to attack three times, so we're going to try and, going to try and charge him on this guy. Um, before we do that, we're going to Frenzy. 
Yeah, 30% extra damage. Swing and a miss. Alas. Oh yeah, big crit. He's stunned. So if you get a crit, it um, makes him take a stun test. Which he obviously failed. Um, and that means also that we hit them 100% of the time. Once they're stunned. Um, I could have gone outside of the wall, but then potentially they could swarm me and isolate this guy outside the wall. This way we kind of block the doorway with this guy. Automatic hit because he's stunned. Also, because he's been crit, he's got a reduced crit resistance, so we've got more chance of getting crits on him. Didn't get uh, lucky with the crits this time, though. Nice. I wonder if you're stunned and you fail an all alone test if you like flee or if you can't like flee because you're stunned not really sure how that works so i'm just trying to skirt that poison i don't want to take a poison test we've got pretty high toughness on most of our guys so a lot of our guys were like passing their poison tests but nah, i didn't really want to put a guy on the outside but Uh, even though it says 59% chance to hit, it's actually 100% because he's, he's um, stunned. Splat. Um, he is one of our targets that we need for our... Um... I might... Um, actually, I'm going to add Adrenaline Rush with him. That'll make him lose 30 HP at the start of next turn, but it'll give him an extra red pill. Um, I reckon there's a pretty good chance they're going to charge him, and then he'll be able to counterattack, because his, his first attack costs two red pills, but it costs one extra three because he charged, and then his second attack costs an extra one, so it'll cost three. So if I only had two, I wouldn't be able to counterattack them. Um, so I can ambush stance, but they're probably going to have more movement than me, so there's not much point. A new they'll, round they'll charge started. me from outside my ambush range. Now, I'm really hoping their leader is going to flee, but I'm not sure if he's going to have room to get out. Um, oh, he did. Uh, yeah, I don't think he's going to have room to get out now. Um, so you can press L to look at your log, and then you can scroll up and check it all out. See much. This guy, hopefully we can, he's going to attack my dude and then we can counter attack him. Oh, he didn't attack me. So maybe I should have put him in ambush stance. Then he would have intercepted this guy and at least done a hit, on, got a hit on him. Oh, that guy didn't fail his all alone test. Oh, he didn't get an all alone test. Uh, right, because these other guys, um, basically, yeah, I was surrounding him, so he would have had to make an all alone test, but then... He didn't because these other guys came in. Okay, yeah, see, we were outnumbering them, and now all of a sudden we're not outnumbering them anymore. She just passed her leadership test. Lovely. All right, let's um, let's kill our leader for starters.
Shmish. All right. Um, now I want somebody to run away. That one, this guy might be able to jump back. I'm not sure. Um, so I'll try and um, intimidate him. Didn't work. Okay. I, I'm not sure if I, he did either. He passed his morale test, or he didn't have room to run back. Roll leadership success. If oh, his target was 23, and he rolled 21. Crap. It was close to failing it, but yeah, no cigar. All right, let's um, no, smack that guy. All right, um. I don't know if I should insult or parry. Might just parry. Because she's looking a bit busted up. She's got two enemies on her and stuff too. So. Oh bro, this guy's not looking happy at all. Alright, let's insult this guy. And uh, we'll just toss some more insults around. Since our defenses pretty much don't, are pretty much useless, so. He resisted the poison globe again. All right. Now, who is the weakest target here? So this guy's got 262. He's got 272. This guy does heaps more damage. Yeah, we definitely need to take him out. All right, we still we still got frenzy on. Try and go over here a bit more so we can hopefully leave room to fit another guy on on him. Ninety five percent chance to hit. Let's go. Oh, that was a good hit. Ah. Okay, this guy's stuck. In the fight with this, guy's, this is bad. This is a bad fight. I don't think we're gonna do well on this. Um, I should have. Yeah, I should have backed up more. I should have pulled like pulled back more and um, made them come to us more. And we could have potentially gotten this round with only one or two of them in instead of everyone. We would have done a lot better. Um, Objective completed. Objectives updated. All right, let's try and... <laughs> yeah, I think we got we got people that are going to go down. So we could fit him in on this Lord right here, but I think what we'll try and do is sneak through. And then we got to either... We got two on... 
We've got two on Sister Superior over there, so she's going to have to roll a loan test. we got one on this guy. We've got that guy that potentially could stack up on our captain, though. Uh, actually, the captain's a newbie, so fuck him. We'll, um... Yeah, well... Yeah, I'll just go on this guy. He's um, going to be the closest to getting getting a kill on. Big crit. Nice. All right. Pirano. Do your worst, buddy. Uh, yeah, we'll get in here. We can drop this guy right now. That'll be super good. Glory. Pokemon's Ale. That could be good, actually. I didn't realize he can pick up he can pick up consumables and use them straight away. That's pretty cool. Uh, I need to uh, no, I need to use it on the um, sister superior, but I can't reach her. Um. Yeah, the captain's probably gonna die, but I'm okay with that. I'm gonna I'm gonna stack up on this guy. That way, oh, can we use this on? No, can't reach her. Yeah, at least then we won't have all alone on the um, Sister Superior. A new round has started. Oh yeah, boom. They're, they're routed. Quick game's a good game. And we got the secondary objective as well because I managed to loot both of the guys. Um, so I didn't pick up a single bit of loot, but we got, um, you know, a bunch of wordstone or whatever from, oh, wait up. No extra objectives. Oh, I must have picked up the wrong. Uh, I must have picked up the wrong one. Ah, oh, well, damn it. No extra uh, XP for, for us. The field of battle is a great feeling. It is even better when you're getting paid for it. Fantastic. Everybody survived. Nobody got dropped that uh, mission. Glorious. No, that's all crap. Um, hopefully, we're going to get another captain, level 7 captain, today. Um, yeah, I'm just going to end the turn and see if we get a captain. Shipment has been rewarded. So now we're supposed to, so we were supposed to get a level seven captain. Where the fuck is he? Where's our level level seven captain? Maybe that was the other shipment. Maybe we still got another shipment. One shipment in transit. Oh, okay. Yeah. So we still got two days to go before our um our shipment. I think we're gonna get a new level seven captain once that next shipment shipment comes that last shipment comes in um i think that's how it works um and then um yeah that new captain will be able to the new level seven captain will be able to basically slot straight in there and replace our busted old captain um we need a we need a um hired sword champion to come in as well i think i might get a third champion as well like um is there Moritz?
Moritz is cool and all, but um, but yeah, like if um, we kind of want to always have two champions going every time, I think, because they're going to be our big damage dealers. So I think I'll have a third one. So if one gets wounded or dies or whatever, then we'll always have two. Yeah, this boy is pretty good. I'm not really sure what I want to spend his last, what I, what other skills I want to give him. Um, because I've got a slot here, so I could give him knowledge Mordheim to give him a little bit extra movement. Um, so that could be cool. Um, I could also give him um, just a basic level of. Um, basic level of um, weak spot so uh, bypass five percent of the targets dodge and parry um and then i could also give him that um that enchanted sword to give him a minus 20 i think to dodge so a minus 25 percent chance to be dodged but i don't know if you're gonna do it you kind of want actually i could give him i could give him mastery level wouldn't it that'd be 15 percent so it's sort of it sort of feels a bit bad because it doesn't it doesn't actually give you more damage but yeah, like reduced chance to get dodged is really good. Less dodge is more greatsword. Exactly, yeah. Um, and it's fifteen percent as well. So if you get that, and then you give him um, the who's got the great sort of dismay. Great sort of speed, yeah. Yeah, twenty percent dodge bypass. So if you get twenty percent dodge bypass, then he gets that mastery level of um, whatever that skill was that I was just talking about. Then that's thirty-five percent reduced dodge chance, uh, which is really good. Um, as I was explaining last time, because two-handed weapons hit hardest on the first hit, first hit, um, especially if you charge into combat, which does even more damage. Um, you really want that first hit to hit, and if if and most characters will only have one dodge and so they're normally going to try to dodge the first hit so it's yeah it's it's good i mean it's even better if you can just set up set it up with another character like so like if i send the sister superior in first she's got better morale better um initiative so she goes before him so she goes in first tanks maybe tanks an ambush from the enemy so they attack her first or if they're uh, in a defensive stance she hits them wastes their dodge on her weak hammer attack that wouldn't do much damage anyway and then they're defenseless and then he comes in and drops the hammer on them or drops the great sword on them as the case may be so that's like ideal but there's heaps of times when he has to be the one that initiates and that's when the dodge um you know the dodge bypass is good so i don't know it's like we've got the dodge bypass on um, on Liz the Ripper on the vampires, and um, yeah, it's like she's reliably wrecks people all the time. So I'm kind of tempted. But um, but yeah, we've got to wait. We've got to wait for another four points to get that. So yeah, I don't know. I might just leave him as he is for now, and um, yeah, we'll just love him up later. Soldier, he's got he's this tough max toughness dude. He's uh, nearly ranked up, nearly max rank. No, uh, he's got no crippling injuries yet. He's doing alright. Sergeant Chesson. He's pretty much maxed out now. Um... Uh, he doesn't have any injuries yet either. So he's... Oh yeah, so he's pretty much done now. He's just got three more skills to get. So, yeah, he's going to get Knowledge Mordheim. That'll give him one extra movement. Bring him back up to six. And then he's got two more basic skills to get. 
could get guard stance and insult or you know something else maybe could go vital strike 10% extra crit chance but it's only 10% so it's not really worth it um Um, yeah, there's some special attacks and stuff that you can get. Um, Oh yeah, charges actually, that's another one. So mighty charge, so normally you, when you charge, you do 50% extra damage. Um, but um, if you've got mighty charge, then you can do, um, you do 75% extra damage. Um, but you have minus 30% chance to hit instead of just minus 10. Um, oh, and they get minus 10% chance to hit with the counter attack as well. But it's kind of cool for like, if somebody gets crit and they're stunned, then you can mighty charge to just do massive extra, you know, massive amount of damage to them. Um, oh yeah, strong blow is cool as well. Uh, actually, no, nah, strong blow is not really that cool. Um, Strongbow is probably pretty cool, actually, on, um... Actually, yeah, Strongbow is probably pretty cool against... Uh, for, um... The champions and stuff. I wonder if it would be worthwhile to... Like, forego... Like, if you, like with your great sword, you have three attacks, right? So, I wonder if it would be better to do... Like, a mighty charge which does 75% extra damage instead of 50% extra damage. Um, and then do a strong blow. So that would cost three, and then this would cost three plus one because it's your second attack. So it costs you seven, attack, seven points, and you get two heavy attacks instead of three normal attacks. But because your, your attacks get weaker as they go on, um, that, you know, it might be better to actually do two heavier attacks. Same with Daredevil might be cool as well, because Daredevil, basically, you spend three... Actu you spend three... Um... Yeah, actually, Daredevil's probably pretty good. Yeah, maybe I should get, maybe I should take Daredevil actually on um, maybe I should take Daredevil on uh, Moritz because it's like you wouldn't want to use it in most situations, but um, but yeah, every now and again, if there's like a, a, a stunned target basically, especially, then um, then yeah, you can Daredevil. Um, each melee attack triggers a free dodge, unless they're stunned, in which case they don't get to dodge. Um, or if they've got like heavy armor and crap agility and you have really shit dodge, then you could probably just use it anyway. Um, but also if we've got this guy set up with um, a speed weapon, um, so bypasses 20% dodge and he's got the weak point as well. Oh no, you can't, can't we only have points for that. Hmm. But yeah, Daredevil on a, on a heavy weapon is pretty good because it does 125% extra damage. So, like, he's got nine points, right? So he can he can go 
two points attack, three points attack, four points attack. Three attacks. They get more. They cost more as you go on. Um, so you have three attacks with your nine pills. Um, but the first attack does full damage. The second attack does um, what do you call it? Um, Fifteen percent less damage, and the second attack does thirty percent less damage. Um, so if we forgo the last attack, which would be at seventy percent damage, and we do Dead Devil, it does one hundred twenty-five percent increased damage on all of your hits when you master it. Then the first attack's doing 225% damage. The second one's doing 210% damage. And you miss out on your third one. So it's like four and a bit attacks. But they get a free dodge. So yeah. Anyway, sorry. Just me and I'm just, just pondering, pondering all the skills. Um, but yeah, there's a lot of depth to this game, uh, a lot of different stuff you can do. It's pretty cool. Anyway, I gotta go to sleep. Thanks for uh, thanks for hanging out, guys. I will um, pass you on to the next streamer on my friends list. Which will be... BZA, maybe? Oh, actually, I should probably check and see if there's somebody else that I haven't posted before. No worries, Moritz. I'm glad that you're still alive. You're like the only one of our champions that's still alive now. Um, a lot of my troopers are still alive, but they're a bit, a few of them are a bit busted. Doesn't seem like. Uh, I think we'll go for uh, we'll go for PZA. I, yeah, I think I, I don't think I've hosted him for a couple of days. Oh, we'll host uh, yeah we'll host um, PZA on YouTube and. And uh, you slightly an obnoxious kiwi on Twitch. <laughs> Mix it up a bit. All right, guys. Um, thanks a lot for hanging out, and I will uh, catch you next time. <laughs>